document object model or in short DOM. When a web page is loaded, the browser creates a document object model of the page. This is like a tree having a root and the branches. In this case, we have a document as a root. Then further, the first branch is HTML element. Then the further tree divides into head and a body. Then further, all the things which appear on a page are divided in the body. With this DOM model, now JavaScript gets more powerful. It can make the page dynamic now. It can change all the HTML elements inside the page and can even change the HTML attributes on the page. The HTML DOM is a standard for how to get, change, add or delete HTML elements. Let's see how we can do that. With DOM, we can change the property of HTML elements. Elements are elements inside the HTML page. It can either be title or a body or H1 tag inside a body, anything present on the page. The dot inner HTML is a property of that element which contains the content for the element which we can assign or change or update with the help of a JavaScript code. With the help of DOM, we can change the attribute of the image tag. We can also change the style properties of an element. Like we can change the color of a text. Methods in the DOM are ways to search for elements in a web page. Document is a whole HTML document and in that we want to search for some element. We can do this by using get element by ID method or we can use get element by class method. On the whole document element, we can use these two methods to search the whole page for an element which ID we can provide as a parameter or a class we can provide as a parameter and in return we will get that element. Further, we can use DOM to add or even delete elements currently present on a page. To do that, we need to first do is we need a document, then we have a method called create element. Within this create element method, we want to give the element which we want to create inside the document. Document dot remove child and document dot append child will take the element and will remove and append accordingly. Let us see in a blank page and with the help of a terminal, try to understand what the DOM is. Again, we will go to inspect properties. There we'll use a console and as we know, this is currently blank page right now. There's nothing on a page. So why not let's try to create an element inside this page. Let's try to add a heading to this blank page. We can do this by creating an H1 element and changing its inner property. Then appending it to the blank page. First thing is we need to create a variable. We can name it heading and this can be equal to document dot create element and the name of the element is H1 because we are giving heading. 
now heading is an h1 element we can see this by printing heading it is currently blank now because we have just defined the element we haven't given any content inside the element let's give some content inside the element we can do this by, se by selecting the element then in a changing its property using inner html and making it equal to hello world now say running this code now again checking what is inside the heading element as we can see the hello world got inserted as an content inside the h1 h1 element our heading is ready now let's insert this heading variable or element inside our document we can do that using document dot append child so document with a method append child and we have given variable which contains the element h1 element now run it as you can see there is some error it is because the document can only have one child we cannot give document to childs document can only have html as a child that's why whenever you want to append something we need to append it inside the body so what we want to do is we want document dot body dot append child then we give heading as you can see the hello world is now being printed on our web page we started with a blank web page and we have got heading onto this blank page we can see the code in the element section here and if we we can see within the body there's h1 element with the hello world content this is exactly what we wanted and we did not write any html code we did this using javascript and with the help of dome what are dom events a javascript can be executed when an event occur inside an html page these events are called dom events let's have an example h1 then we have an attribute on click and inside this on click attribute we have written javascript code which says this dot inner html equals to you clicked then within the h1 tag we have given the element content as please click so what it does is when the h1 element is clicked the javascript code will run which says change the inner html of this element to you clicked so earlier the element content was please click now after the javascript will run it will say you clicked so what the user will see is that whenever it clicks on a please click h1 heading the heading will change to you clicked this click is a dom event there are many other dom events like this like when a web page has been loaded you can imagine the use case of this whenever the youtube video is loading you can see the loading sign this is where the dom event is happening the other event is like when a mouse hovers over an element you can again imagine it using an example whenever you hover over a netflix card or the or the movie which you want to see the movie pops up and starts playing this is on mouse hover element or the attribute is being run there what are event listeners now listener is nothing but a function a javascript function 
the add event listener method attaches and listener to the specified element. For example, we have written document get element by ID. Then we have written my button which will give an element which will be of ID my button. And on in that element we have added an add event listener. Within this add event listener we have given two parameters. One is click and a second one is display date. The click is the event which we want it to be run on and the display date is nothing but a JavaScript function. It's the name of the JavaScript function. So whenever my button element will get click the display date function must run. This is what the event listener does. Browser object model or bomb. It is similar to what we have just learned the document object model. Just the difference is that the browser object models allows JavaScript to talk to the browser. Whereas in a DOM, the JavaScript was only able to talk with the tab. With tab, I mean with the whole HTML page on that particular tab. Whereas in BOM, we can write a JavaScript code to even open another tab and do something there. And the best cases to use this is to resize the current window according to the device. But note that CSS does this faster than a JS. So it's better to use CSS in place of resizing the window. Let's try to run the bomb codes into our console and we'll see what it does. Again, we go to inspect, then within the console, we write window dot open we can specify the url https slash slash www.google.com what it does is it takes a, a new browser and runs the url there similarly we can open a new tab here and we can say window which means the current tab then close it closed the page or the tab which was open this is the power of bomb we can use it to resize the window and we can open another tab in this